All right, we got some Strive action right here from the homie Demon Dan at Demon Dan 14. Link in the description field. Check him out. Check this out. You got a little geef vibe. Woo -hoo -hoo! Scoop de loop. Literally got the geef vibes. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ends it in traditional Demon Dan form. Let's go. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful morning of checking these buttons. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to talk about. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. As always, we got the links, chapters down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Without further ado, I feel like I'm just mumbling right now. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, you're not gonna anti air this? Alright, and now into the first disrespectful buttons that need to be checked. I had to I had to check this story right here because not only did people tag me, but I was like, yo, the level of disrespect, we had to get it. Oh, and real quick, that clip that I posted in the beginning, if you guys want to check it out, it's Demon Dan, link in the description field. As I mentioned, definitely had them geek vibes. I know he's, a, I believe, an Alex main, but also had them Hugo vibes, you know what I'm saying? Where you just activate and scoop, like, real talk. Anyway, wanted to give him the proper shout out. Don't get it twisted. When I say disrespectful, I mean in the most beautiful way possible. Possible. You know what I'm saying? I mean baiting and trolling at the highest level that is beautiful. All right, so this one comes from a young man by the name of Vendetta at Ven Was Taken. He's a partner on Twitch, says, welcome to the page of Cage, best Johnny Cage you'll ever see. He posted this the other day saying, I'm toxic as fuck, laugh my ass off. Let's check it out. So obviously he's Cage, right? He just- I'm the best that ever lived. Fight or just play like a pussy? Well, which one? Which one? Are you gonna fight or play like a pussy? Wait, I'm asking. So I'm the other guy's obviously pissed, right? Jump kick, jump kick, <laughs> jump kick, jump kick. I'll mercy you too. And he mercy them to bring them back to to get even more. I don't know how of the troll. Because it is fucking disgusting how you play. It really is. But I'm just being straight up with you. I'm being straight up, bro. Like, honestly, bro. The way you play is disgusting as hell. Take the game. Are you gonna play or play like Take the person? game. Now the guy's not talking no more. After take the game. Take the game. I'm waiting, bro. Waiting for what? Just take the game. There we Here go. Here we go. There we go. Okay. There we okay, go. Bunch of uppercuts. There we okay. go. There we go. There you go. There you go. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think this was, dude? Did you really think I was gonna let you in, bro? What is this? God, yo, can, hold on. Can we replay that part again? There you go. There you go. Psych. <laughs> what did you think this was? Kill them fool. And you can hear that guy's voice if you paid attention. He said, I knew that was going to happen. Dude, and the FGC responds, big up to Crimson for tagging me. Everybody's like, yo, I'm dead. This is hilarious. This is godlike. This is beautiful. Funniest shit I've ever seen. And so on. So yo, Vendetta, man, it was a pleasure watching that. That was a thing of beauty. 
Also, big up to the other person involved. I don't know who they were, but <laughs> you were involved in a beautiful troll ass moment, my friend. Thank you guys. It was almost like a reverse troll, you know what I'm saying? Because usually people that are on your stream either troll you or talk some shit. He did talk shit, but he was like, yo, you gonna talk that shit? Watch what I do to you. All right, and now into them second set of disrespectful buttons that need to be checked. Yes, we got another pair right here. This one comes up to us from the almighty Ryan Hart, right at Ryan Joseph Hart. He posted this just the other day saying, wow, Logan woke up and chose violence. The banter between these two was so funny and awesome. Me and Yipes were in bits. I actually thought the shirt was really cool at Rob TV. Adaptation left, right, left, right, back and forth, super high octane, right? And that's what we saw a perfect example of right there. But let's head on over to the desk and have a look and hear from the wise people in Logan Summer and Rob TV. Let's hear from the wise people. I Nephew does not want to make this easy at all, does he? Did Ryan just call you wise? Yes. All right, but yeah, Nephew definitely did amazing right there, bro. This <laughs> Did Ryan just call you wise? He's hooking up, Josh! <laughs> Say, the favorite tends to close it out no matter how close it is. <laughs> what, 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 Logan, you, you okay? I'm, I'm, I know, I'm, I didn't say you weren't wise, I'm I'm just, I was just surprised, I never heard it. Oh, That's my first time hearing it. I was wise enough not to wear that shirt today that you were wearing. Oh. Oh! Uh, so nephew did bring it back. That's his second three two. <laughs> he said, "I was wise enough not to wear that shirt that you were wearing today." All right, and as you can imagine, the FGC reacts. Pre you know, pretty much people are saying what you think they might be saying, like "flame." This was hilarious. I'm just, I'm I was just surprised. I never heard it. That's my first time hearing it. I was wise enough not to wear that shirt today that you were wearing. Oh. Oh! Samurai posts on this as well saying, one of my favorite moments from the stream. Rob TV responds as well saying, Ryan shocked me and the entire audience with that statement's dead. And I'm not sure exactly which shirt he's talking about, but I think it's this shirt because this is the last shirt that I saw Rob post that he was wearing. I think him and Logan were having like a little fashion battle like on the DL, you know what I'm saying? And then this is the last shirt that he was rocking. So what you think about the duo right here? I'll show the picture side by side because they were definitely having like a little war saying who could dress the best. You think Logan got this one or you think Rob got this this one, holler at me. Kind of leaning towards Logan's fit, but when Logan has his hair down, he kind of looks like a bad guy on a Die Hard movie. Right? All right, and now into the next set of buttons that need to be checked. This one is pretty huge in the NRS community, right? So this one I saw just yesterday, it was pretty much trending, right? NetherRealm is now focusing on its next project, and after more than two years of supporting Mortal Kombat 11 DLC for the game, including characters has come to an end. And of course, the FTC reacts. I see a lot of people, you know, can't wait basically for the next project, you know. M MK11 definitely had some mixed reviews during its lifetime, you know, still to this day. I saw Punk post saying, please be Injustice 3. A lot of people want that Injustice 3. Even Sonic was like praying. So we know at this point, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, different hopes and expectations for what NRS might drop next. Um, but it, it makes you wonder what's gonna, you know, what's gonna happen with MK11 because it came out with all this hype, with these guest characters, you know, DLC, all that stuff. It had a lot of damn hype when it first dropped. And they did a lot of cool stuff for it, you know, in events, but it always seemed like it just wasn't enough. There were so many top players that were just so vocal, you know, just in stating something, almost like how we stated for Street Fighter V, that yeah, it was a cool game, but it just seemed like it was lacking something, and it wasn't our favorite out of the series. Now, of course, I'm not speaking for everybody, because I know a lot of people do love MK11, and a lot of people, believe it or not, love Street Fighter V. I'm just saying it was a popular opinion on social media, and it's something that you saw and read a lot. So anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for the love. If we don't post tomorrow, it'll definitely be the next day. Guess what? Tomorrow is 4th of July. Hope you guys, if you're in the States, hope you guys are being safe, celebrating it. It's weird here in Texas because a lot of places you can't even light fireworks and it's hot as hell and it's raining. It's literally over 90 degrees today and it's storming outside. So I don't know, maybe me and the fam will just go catch a movie. I saw that new uh, Purge Forever, Forever Purge is out. I just saw The Quiet Place too. Why am I telling you all this? Y'all don't want to hear all this, but anyway, Anyway, thank y'all for the love. We'll see you soon. Love you forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe.
You know what, real talk, I just thought I would add this in there on the 4th of July tip. I grew up, I'm, once again, I'm sounding like an old, like old schooler, but we grew up, man, I grew up in Cali, so I lit fireworks. Hell, we made fireworks. People would come down the street, pop the trunk, we'd buy fireworks out the trunk or the stand down the street, and we learned from some kids down the street that really didn't speak English all that good how to make like little bombs and shit like that. Yeah, a lot of it was dangerous. Some of it was probably illegal <laughs> growing up, but it was the 4th of July, like that whole week we had fun. Now, it's like you do nothing. We do nothing! You might have a barbecue maybe, but I mean, there's nothing. Just doing it big, just one time. 